Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing another come thrift with me. But today I actually have the time and energy to do a little intro beforehand and I figured that we could also do like a little get ready with me or get dressed with me I guess because I'm still in my pajamas and I have no idea what to wear today. I'm definitely going to go with a long skirt, long sleeve kind of look um, and just kind of go as comfortable as possible because I will be walking around for a while and thrifting. So I think I'm going to go with this black velvet skirt that I thrifted recently. It's super simple, really basic, but it's very warm. Next I'm going to do some layering with this long Long sleeve top and I think I'll wear like an oversized t-shirt over it kind of like the one that I'm wearing now can I be honest with you guys um I think I'm a little bit scared of layering I tend to just kind of like wear one piece and then if I'm cold I just suffer I think maybe it just makes me uncomfortable because I feel like I'm like a little bit restrained or something like that I don't fully know how to like properly layer stuff yet so maybe I'll make a video on teaching myself how to do that this is the top that I'm gonna layer over this one um it's just like a really cool graphic tee I actually stole this off of Bo when we started dating and it is literally one of my favorite shirts ever. Just like, look at how cool the print is. Oh my God. Just a disclaimer, Bo and I do not listen to Slash at all. We don't really like his music at all. <laughs> so if I go out today and someone stops me and asks me to name three songs, this is the only time that I will be wearing a band shirt where I actually can't do that. <laughs> okay, I've got on my jewelry now. I've got two necklaces and all of my rings that I usually wear. I've kind of stopped wearing my like chunky hoop earrings, which is so sad because they're my favorite earrings ever. My ears are just too susceptible to getting infected so I just kind of leave in my like four sleepers instead. I've got all my rings now and then I've got two necklaces. This necklace is my favorite at the moment. It's really short and uh, it's just got this like woman on it, which I love. And this necklace I got recently from a like gothic oddities fair and I love it so much. I'm just gonna put my shoes on. It's my classic docks that I've had for a million years and they're my most comfortable shoe to wear. I was gonna say that the last thing that I need is my bag and I'm gonna go with this one that I thrifted recently, but it's still raining outside, so I think I might need a jacket too. Ugh, just more layers I have to put on, I hate layers. And we are done. Okay, so I just went and got lunch, and midway through my lunch, I realized that I didn't bring my AirPods, and that is like a fate worse than death when it comes to thrifting. I would literally rather die than have to listen to the Savers playlist over and over and over again for two and a half hours or whatever. So I decided to go to Kmart and get their cheapest headphones that were Bluetooth, and they happen to be these ones. So I'm gonna test these out before I go. I think they're charged. Okay, these are the worst headphones I have ever used um, and Nine Inch Nails has never sounded so bad and that really means a lot coming from me because never in my life have I used the words Nine Inch Nails and bad in the same sentence. So this thrift trip is already off to a horrible start but you know what? I'd rather use them than have to listen to that Addison Ray song 500 times. Anyway, let's actually go to the thrift store. <laughs> Okay, so we're back at the savers that I went to in my last video because that haul was so good. Of course, I started off in the Halloween section because that's where I had the most luck last time. I thought that maybe this would be a really cool dress with all the cutouts, but it was like a full bodysuit for some reason. I'm such a sucker for this type of material, especially when it's this like red and black iridescent color. But unfortunately, it was a couple sizes too big for me. Right now I cannot remember what these are called, um, so I'm just gonna call it a lace cardigan, but this would have been the perfect whimsy goth piece if they didn't price it at $20. I really liked this sheer lace top as like a layering piece for when it gets warmer, but again, that price was just too steep for me. In the Halloween section, there are always these like maid dresses, and I always look at them because sometimes they're just cute dresses in general, but this blue one was really not it. <laughs> I put these pants into my cart because I thought maybe Bo would like them, but it turns out that they were too small on me, so they definitely wouldn't fit him either. I'm still trying to incorporate animal print into my wardrobe as it's such an essential for 90s fashion, um, so I wanted to at least try this one on. I also really like the faux fur collar as well. I did get excited for a second as I do need a nurse's outfit for my Halloween costume, but this one was 20 bucks and it was a bit too different from the one that I needed. This baby onesie was still here from last time, but I do not need to be manifesting a child at this age and especially in this economy. I have been looking for some sunglasses that actually suit my face recently and I thought these ones were nice, but maybe a bit too long on me. These ones on the other hand, I really liked even though they were like a tortoise shell and I prefer maybe a black, but I really like the shape of them. So I ended up trying them on. Oh my God, I wish that these shoes weren't stiletto heels. Like if they were a kitten heel or wedges or just had like a thicker heel in general, um, I would actually be able to walk in them, but I 
wanted to try them on anyway because I did really like the style. These would be much more suitable for me to walk in and they had a bit of a platform too which I really liked so I decided to try them on. I recently discovered that this brand Oraton is really expensive so whenever I find one I like to see how much they've priced it at and yep, to be expected, it's over $30. These were not my size, unfortunately, but I would love to get some platform loafers like this as well. These were also way too small on me, which was really sad. I do need some comfy open toe shoes for when summer hits, and these would be really, really cute. In the shoe section, I also found this Burberry scarf, and going by how they priced it, it's either definitely fake or the people who work here don't know what Burberry is. Okay, I found these boots and they were in Bo's size and when I showed them to him, he described them as Trent Reznor boots, so of course I immediately bought them for him. Next up, I went to the lingerie section and they had a lot of cute stuff there, including lots of like slip dresses and bustiers. If this hot pink slip was red, y'all already know I would have bought it immediately. <laughs> The only thing that I did end up putting in my cart to try on was this mauve top. I really liked how it was asymmetrical and it had the ruched detailing on the top. In the dress section, there were a few interesting dresses, but they were more of like a bohemian style, so really not my vibe. This dress had a really cool pattern on it and I loved the little like pocket on the side but it was a little bit shapeless so I figured that I would try it on and see what it looks like when I'm actually wearing it. I originally put this dress in my cart because I thought that it was like a simple, cute black dress, but it turned out to be dark brown when I actually looked at it properly, so I did end up leaving it behind. There were also all of these slip dresses in all different colors, but they were pretty boring and they were made out of this like really awful material. I could just see myself sweating through them. This slip, on the other hand, was much cuter. I did put it in my cart just to try on. I couldn't really tell if this was a dress or a skirt. I did like the ruching detail of it, but I feel like it was a dress. And in that case, it just definitely wouldn't suit me at all. I have been looking for more denim skirts, preferably like a really long one in a dark wash. Um, this one was from Sass and Bide, so it was probably originally like $150, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, I don't really like this light wash denim. I would also like a leather skirt, but I don't think I could imagine having like a long leather skirt just because I would sweat so much in the summer. It always confuses me when I find American brands. Like how did a Gap skirt get here when we've never had a Gap store in Melbourne? I then found this genuine bape jacket and I looked it up online and it turns out it was worth more than like $200 and they were selling it for $12. I did consider getting it to resell, but I wasn't sure if it was real or not, honestly. Okay, it's super boring, but I did buy this simple black jumper just because the material was literally the softest I've ever felt in my life. I just had to get it. Bo has a few oversized tees of his own, so I put this one in the cart to show him, but he ended up saying he didn't really need it. I thought it would fit him really nicely, but between the two of us, we have like a million oversized t-shirts. In the t-shirt section, I also found this top. Um, I thought it had a cool graphic, and then I realized that it was from True Religion. Oh my god, how sick is that? Like, I didn't even know that True Religion made t-shirts for some reason. Even though I rarely wear jeans, I did like the look of these and they did seem to be a bit baggier than the usual Y2K low rise jeans, so I at least wanted to try them on. These two tops were cute but very sheer and the fit seemed like they would be a little bit too loose on me. When it comes to little tops like this, I do prefer them to be a bit tighter on me, whereas with my jumpers and t-shirts, I do prefer them to be more oversized. This top was so weird, I just had to try it on. It was like a stretchy fishnet, ruched elastic. Like, I don't, I don't even know what this was. I had to try it on.
I don't need a vest, but I wanted to at least show you guys this giant tag that said passport party on it. It was adorable. Speaking of adorable, I'm pretty sure this was a kid's jacket from the 2000s, but it was again very cute and the tag was definitely telling me it was from a Y2K brand. Anyway, my cart was pretty much full at this point, so I went to the corner of the store um, just to try things on because I was not going to wait for the change rooms. Firstly, I tried on these sandals and I really didn't like that the brown part of the sole just like stuck out, so I ended up leaving those behind. Unfortunately, my fear of these shoes being too high ended up being true and I definitely couldn't wear them, which was so sad for me. This leopard print cardigan was a little bit too big for me and also a little too grandma as well. So I didn't end up getting that either. This dress was actually cute, but I feel like it was something I would wear like a couple of years ago instead of now. So I did pass on it. I did end up leaving the babe jacket behind, but I tried it on first to see if it would fit bow or something, um, but it was even too small on me. So yeah, no. This slip dress had such annoyingly placed cups. Like there was no way that I could wear this without falling out of it, unfortunately. And this top was also disappointing. The fit of the top was really unflattering on me. I thought that I could like pull it down to fix it, but no, it just looked like that. So again, left it behind. A change room did free up. So I went and tried on the last few things and I also put these ones back. This top was so uncomfortable. I think it was meant for like raves um, or something like that. I have no idea how I would style this unless I was going to a rave. These jeans also weren't that comfortable and were really long on me, so I passed on those too. This top on the other hand was a great fit and really comfortable. So after that, I ended up checking out. Okay, so that haul clearly wasn't as good as the last time that I went to this Savers, but honestly, that's okay. I ended up getting the True Religion t-shirt, of course, um, the Trent Reznor shoes for Bo, and the really, really soft black sweater. Um, I think I'm going to embroider some stuff onto that to make it a little bit more cool. And I also got those sunglasses. So yeah, even though it wasn't as big of a haul as last time, I'm still really happy with all the pieces that I got. I'll have to keep going back to that Savers, even though they are a little bit further out for me. Um, they've never let me down, so. Anyway, that brings me to the end of the video. Thank you guys all so much for watching and coming along with me if you like the video then give the video a like and if you liked me then subscribe to my channel it really helps me out and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah! bye